Kevin, congratulations. First man through to the court final two of the World Series match, but how would you assess how that game went tonight? Well, you know, it, it, in my opinion, I, I was going to win the game, you know, with, with all respect to John. Um, you know, John was going to have to play better than he's been playing, and um, I, I obviously fancied the job. To be fair, I, I thought I was going to play a little bit better, but I think sometimes circumstances dictate that that can go against you. Um, you can drift off. You know, one up, two up, three up, four up. Game gets away from you a bit. You start thinking about other things. You know, that's when you're old. <laughs> you know, if you're a youngster, you just get on with it. You know. Going up there as big favourite as you were tonight. Did that add a little bit of pressure? Well, yes. Listen, when I was at the peak of my game, pressure was what I. You know, that was all about it. You know, give me the pressure. I, I played better. Um, of course, I was going to be under pressure tonight to a certain extent. I had to go up and win. If I lost, people would be wondering what's going on with respect to John again. But, um, you know, I'm just happy to get through the game and I have to improve, you know, on the next game. How are your preparations coming into this event and where do you feel the game is at the moment? I haven't been doing anything. You know, I've played, I've had a week down at the Modus Online League, which is fantastic. Um, other than that, I haven't really done anything. You know, that's what I mean. When you when you talk about the lads on the pro tour, that they're playing week in, week out. Great. That's why they're all on good form. Um, you know, some of us are not doing too much, so it's difficult. You know, I'll go out and do my little practice sessions and things like that. But I'm 54. You know, I'm not going to be playing every single day, five hours or six hours a day. You know, so you got to come into these things and, and and do the best you can. Do you still have high, high expectations of yourself or? about enjoying it as well um, I find it hard to enjoy anything when I'm playing darts really because it is the expectation levels um, I, I I still think I'm I'm 35 again or something you know when I should be I'm still expecting to play at the top of my game and my brain won't comprehend it when I'm not playing that well you know so sometimes you have to have a reality check and um, sometimes I I don't do that, you know, I should realise that, listen, you ain't as good as you used to be, accept it and get on with it and take what you can, but uh, it's difficult to do that, you know, when you've been a good player. Has this series two given you a bit of a buzz, like a bit of a new lease of life? In the... Yeah, well, it's nice, you know, when I packed up the game, I, I thought, well, what I do now is do me exhibitions and, you know, the odd competition, local league thing and bits and pieces and just plod along, but of course... Uh, Jason Time, Jason Francis, and obviously the sponsors have come on board and um, fair play to them. They've got this scene. It, it gives us guys, you know, something to look forward to. Yeah, so, you know, I'm as competitive as ever. Although I'm not as good as I was, I'm still as competitive as I was. First two events were set format. This is your legs match play format. Do you prefer that? Uh, no, to, to be fair, um, my best results um, as a as a pro data um, were always set format um, that's why I was a bit, bit surprised when I got knocked out down at um, Lakeside but um, notoriously I haven't done or you know over the years I haven't done too well at uh, the match play but uh, listen this is the seniors things have changed things are different so we'll see how we go and it's Peter Evanson or Colin McGarry up next to you did you catch any of Colin's performance earlier on? Um, no I mean I was in the practice room um, while that game was going on I didn't watch it you know I see that Colin won, so um, yeah, good luck to him, and um, he's got to play me if he beats Peter Everson. Came pretty close at the Circus Tavern, up to the semi-final, what would it mean to go one step further and of course, potentially win this? be fantastic to, to win it, you know, it's nice to, uh, I've said before, you know, it's nice to win a game of cards or a game of Scrabble or something, you know, you win anything, it's nice, um, that'd be great, be fantastic. Um.